Hello, my name is Dr. Andrew Neville, and I specialize in treating adrenal fatigue. But today, I want to talk to you about Epstein-Barr virus and why that is not your problem. Now, there's a ton of confusion out there about Epstein-Barr virus, and it is largely a waste of time, right, to go chasing after, after it and, and trying to treat it just like it was for me. So Epstein-Barr virus is in the family of the herpes viruses, right? And don't let that freak you out. I mean, it's just, it, you know, there's a bunch of different viruses that are herpes viruses. Yes, uh, oral herpes, genital herpes, they all have numbers. Some of them also have names, um, even, you know, CMV or cytomegalovirus, HHV6. Uh, these viruses are ubiquitous. They are everywhere. Now, for Epstein-Barr virus, if we were to test the whole country, right, at least adult age people, 95% of those patients would test positive for having been exposed in some point to Epstein-Barr virus. They've had a past infection. Now, we can break those people up into groups when we get this infection. So the thing is everywhere, right? And a third of those people that get, get exposed to Epstein-Barr, they don't even really know they had it. You know, they might have had some mild symptoms, um, but they didn't even know it was Epstein-Barr, right? Another third of people, um, you know, they get sick. Right, they get sick and they notice they, they they were sick for sure. They might not know it's Epstein Barr, but they definitely noticed it was just kind of a you know a, kind of a, an infection, right? And then there's another third of people that get mono, right? And mono is basically a a term that we give for a more extreme case or bout of Epstein Barr virus. Now herpes viruses are interesting in that they never leave the body. Once you get a herpes family virus, it stays with you forever. I know that sounds kind of weird, but that's just the way it is. Thing is, when you get this infection, right, the infection is there, the immune system comes in, knocks out the infection, and then as long as your immune system is strong enough, you will keep that infection dormant, right, or at bay, and you'll never have a problem ever again. Never. Now, in some people, that Epstein-Barr virus reactivates, right? But the thing is, if you look at the the general population, right? If, if all of us have Epstein-Barr and it only reactivates in certain people, same virus in everybody, right? Why would it reactivate in me and not somebody else, right? So it must be the problem, a problem with the immune system. Well, all right, so let's go there, right? If it is a problem with the immune system, right? Well, what controls the immune system? Why is the immune system not able to handle uh, keeping this Epstein-Barr virus down? The main controller of your immune system is your stress response system or your adrenals. We've known for decades, right, that when our body is in a stress response, it suppresses our immune system, right? People get cold sore flares, they get sick when they're too stressed out, that kind of a thing. And it absolutely is true. That stress hormone suppresses the immune system, especially in a space where um, for its ability to fight infections, especially chronic infections like Epstein-Barr. Your chronic symptoms though, are not only an Epstein-Barr problem. There is a deeper issue with the immune system, and that means there's gonna be a deeper issue with the adrenals. My Epstein-Barr used to reactivate all the time. We chased after it, and I had to chase after it forever until I finally realized that there was a deeper problem. Fix the deeper problem. Fix the immune suppression that comes from stress over time right? Then the immune system is strong enough to keep this and other infections at bay, and you don't have to keep ch chasing after the in infections. Your physiology can shift. The symptoms gradually go away over time. You find yourself coming back a little by little over time, and that's how you get your life back. So stop wasting your time chasing chronic infections and viruses, including Epstein-Barr. Fix the underlying cause. That's how you get better. All my best.